Hey guys, so today I'm going to be trying out the new L'Oreal Paris 24-hour Infallible Total Cover Full Coverage Foundation. They come in little tubes like this. I believe they have about 12 shades. I picked up the shades 301 and 302, which are the two lightest. As right now you can see, I don't have a tan. It's winter, it's cold up here in the northeast, so pale it is. So it says that they are a natural finish. They're not matte and they're not radiant. 24 hour wear time, full coverage, and air light texture. <clears throat> so you can use it everywhere, your face, neck, arms, legs to cover imperfections and even skin tone. And the display showed that you can cover tattoos with these. I've been using these for about two weeks now. And I'll give you my review at the end, but I wanted to show you how they apply. So I guess we'll start with 301. All right, so I'm gonna do what Tati Westbrook does. I'm gonna apply half of it with a makeup sponge and half with a kabuki brush. She uses a artiste brush, but I do not have that. Okay, so 301 <clears throat> has a very fine tip to squeeze out the product, and it is very, very thick. Can you see that? Very, very thick. It's almost moussey. very thick. So that's 301. And then 302. This one has a bit more of a gray undertone, which is strange for a foundation, but I feel like this one matches me better. So we're just going to jump right in. I'm going to start with the 302. And I'm going to apply little bits to my face because what I found is that this sets very, very quickly. So at first I was dabbing it all over my face and then trying to blend it out and it was setting faster than I could um, put it on. So let me dampen my beauty blender and I will start with this side of my face with the beauty blender. And you can see I have very, very dark under eye circles. So we will see how it covers those. I have a scar right here. It claims to be full coverage, but you can still see my birthmarks. You can still see my scar. You can see this pimple <laughs> that I have under my lip. It does feel air light. It sets, it's already dry. I don't even think you need to set it with a powder unless you have oily skin. I have oily skin here and here, so I probably will set this. <clears throat> And right, I'm going to go in with the lighter shade now for under my eye area around my nose. And now I'm going to go in and use a kabuki brush. And then go in with the lighter shade. <clears throat> okay, now comparing sides. This side was the brush, this side was the sponge. I feel like the brush did a better job at smoothing out the product than the Beauty Blender did. But still, this is not full coverage. If you compare this to the Milani Conceal and Perfect, you wouldn't see this spot, you wouldn't see this spot with Milani. With this, you can see my scarring, you can see my acne, you can see my blue bags, you can still kind of see the redness on my nose right here. <clears throat> I don't know. And this foundation, which I have learned through trying for the last couple weeks, accentuates dry spots. 
Look my chin right here. You can see all the dry spots and then after a couple hours, the pores along the center of my nose look humongous. So this is not the most forgiving foundation. If you have dry patches or texture on your skin, this will accentuate it. That's what I have found. Um, but the initial application, it is air light. It sets very, very, very quickly. You don't need to powder. I probably would just in my oily areas. So this is how it applies going on. And this is the initial look. And I'll follow up with you guys later on in the day to let you know how it's wearing and to let you know my thoughts. As I said, I have tried this for the past two weeks. So I already have some thoughts established and an opinion established, which I will share with you throughout the day, assuming that nothing changes. So stay tuned. Okay, so it is a miserable, yucky, rainy day out, and I am trying the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover Foundation. I am wearing the two lightest shades today mixed together, so we will see how they hold up in the elements. When first applied, it does tend to accentuate your dry patches, like right here. You can kind of see the texture in my chin. So generally I find that this doesn't look great when it was first applied, but after a couple hours it starts to look beautiful and then after that the oils peek through. So we shall see. I am wearing some NYX uh, Intense Butter Gloss on my lips over top of a Kevin Aucoin lipstick. And on my blush I am using the new Revlon Bronzer Blush. It's like a brown blush. It's gorgeous. I love the warmth that it gives to my cheeks and my temples. I'm also wearing the Luxie Beauty Space Case and Peachy Keen Aurora shadows on my eyes along with some NYX glitter. So I will keep checking in with you guys to let you know how this foundation wears during the day. We shall see. So it's been about six hours since I applied the foundation, the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover Foundation. And as you can see, I'm already getting oily. The foundation looked pretty good for, I would say hours two to four-ish. But now that we're at hour six, the oils are already peeking through. You can still see the patchiness and the dry patches on my face. I feel like it just accentuates any texture that you have on your face. So overall, I'm just not a fan of this foundation. I like the L'Oreal um, Pro Matte Foundation. I don't care for the Pro Glow because it makes me too shiny looking, but I do like the Pro Matte, but this infallible total cover foundation, for me, I would say is a pass. It's just, I feel like you can find better matte foundations than this and I don't like how it applies. It's very blotchy. It's hard to blend out. I've tried applying it with a flat top kabuki brush. I've tried with a dampened beauty blender and just neither was very successful. I ended up having to put layer upon layer upon layer to get the coverage I want and therefore it just looks cakey. So I'm not a fan but if you like it let me know below. For me it just it was a pass. So I am a little bit shiny right now but I wanted to show you what this looked like after let me see, it's 3.30, I put it on around eight this morning. So, seven and a half, eight hours-ish. So a full day's wear. Um, let me zoom you in so you can kind of see. You can see that it's kind of breaking up here on my nose. Right there, you've got some pimples showing through. The texture on my chin didn't really get any better throughout the day. Um, the oils are peeking through. I don't know. I'm just not impressed. I just don't like the way it blends out. I like the way it blends out with my fingers, but I don't want to use my fingers to apply makeup every morning because then I make a mess and it's also just not very hygienic. Um, so I am sadly not a fan of this. It's just, it enhances the dry patches. The oils show through after a matter of hours. I don't feel like the coverage is that exceptional that I would continue using this. For me, I'm gonna have to say that the L'Oreal 24 Hour Infallible Total Cover Foundation is a fail, unfortunately. So, I hope you enjoyed this review and stay tuned for other reviews coming up in the future. Bye guys.